Whoa, you don't look so good. I know. Studying for four days straight takes a toll on you. Yeah, you really need to take care of yourself and rest. I know. I just want to pass with a perfect score. Passing a test won't mean much if you die of exhaustion along the way. All right. Did you enjoy it? <웃음> 자, 그런데 이렇게 공부를 열심히 하다가 mm-hmm. 뭐 우려했던 상황이 발생을 한것 같아요. Right. So it seems like she was so exhausted that she had to go to the hospital. Yeah. So let's find out what happened through her diary entry. All right. Let's watch. I was rushed to the hospital today. While I was driving, my vision got blurry and I passed out of exhaustion. I learned my lesson. I'll make sure to not overexert myself anymore. I'm glad that she learned her lesson. Me too. I'm glad she learned her lesson. And I'm glad she's okay. Yeah, I hope she's okay. Well, Sounds she like probably she's okay. is. Yeah. I mean, she could be in bed writing. Yeah. It's not very hard. Just like this. Oh. Why you're exhausted? You know? 네, 그래서 굉장히 피곤해서 병원에 실려갔다라는 그런 내용의 일기였습니다. 자, 이 중에서 두 문장만 골라서 자세히 공부를 해볼 건데 오늘 굉장히 재미있는 표현들이 많이 들어 있으니까 집중해서 한번 들어보시고요. 첫 번째 문장 읽어주시죠. Alright, so the first one that we'll look at is I was rushed to the hospital today. I was rushed to the hospital today. I was rushed. 물론 그냥 거기까지 끊으면. Right. If you stop there. I was rushed. 하면, I had to go quickly. 네, 굉장히 급했다라는 말이죠. Mm-hmm. 급했다 또는 시간이 촉박했다라는 말이 mm-hmm. 되는데 rushed to the hospital이니까 수동태로 이제 누군가가 somebody rushed me to the right. hospital. It means someone took me to the hospital. 네, 병원에 실려갔다라는 말이 됩니다. Mm-hmm. 병원. 음. So maybe she had to go to the hospital in an ambulance. Ambulance. Right, ambulance. 뭐, 네. 구급차 앰뷸런스인데 mm-hmm. So have you been in an ambulance before in the States? Yes, I have. And how was it? Well, it was comfortable. <laughs> really? <laughs> it was kind of cold outside. Uh-huh. And so they had the heat on. So 네. I was like, oh, this is nice. I see. And, and it... you can just relax. I mean, they carry you everywhere. So mm-hmm. it's, I mean, it wasn't bad. 그래도 아팠으니까 간 거죠? Yeah. You were sick, right? I don't know. Yeah. I had actually, you know, shingles. Ah, 대상포진. When I had shingles in the middle of the night, the I medicine see. they gave me made my blood pressure and my like blood sugar go down really low. Mm. So then they had to come and get me. Ah, 대상, give me some blood sugar. 대상포진 약을 먹었는데 복용했는데 혈압이 너무 낮아져서 yeah. 놀라기 때문에 그러니까 right. 이제 구급차를 불러서 실려 간 건데 그런 경우에 또 개인이 내야 되는 돈이 많잖아요. Yes. It's so expensive to take an ambulance <laughs> in America. It's like almost Sometimes it could be between maybe like 500 and 2000 dollars mm. over 2000 dollars. 그렇군요. 한국에서는 정확히 어떤지 저는 사실 구급차를 한 번도 타 보지 않아서 어, 모르겠는데 미국에서는 뭐 50만 원 정도에서 200만 원 정도 한번 mm-hmm. 그냥 구급차에 어, 타서 병원에 실려가게 되면 본인이 부담하는 거죠. Mm-hmm. All right. So hopefully your fee wasn't too high. Oh yeah. I mean you have insurance, so mm. they pay a little bit. 네. 보험에서 어느 정도. So I wanted, I only had to pay 400 dollars out of pocket, but. 그래도 40만 원이나. Still 됐어요. a lot. 아파서 실려갔는데 right. 그런, 그런 거죠. 그래서 여기서는 그런 내용이었습니다. I was rushed to the hospital이고요. 그런데 또 이제 만약 앰뷸런스가 아니고 헬리콥터가 mm-hmm. 와서 데려가면 uh, yes. 다른 표현이 있죠. Right. So if you were taken to the hospital in a helicopter, you would say you were airlifted to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Airlifted. 그런데 어떤 경우에서 in what kind of situation would you be airlifted? Um, I've seen it with car accidents. Mm-hmm. So one time I was driving, you know, from Florida to Georgia, mm-hmm. and all the traffic was stopped. So we couldn't move for maybe uh, an hour, and then the helicopter came, you know, to take the person to the hospital, I guess they were really injured in the car accident. 그렇군요. 그래서 헬리콥터가 날아와서 그 사람을 데리고 앰뷸런스 역할을 하는 경우에는 airlift라는 동사를 쓰는 거죠. Mm-hmm. You are basically lifting the person into the air. Right. 네, 그래서, airlifted. 네, airlifted 되었다. 여기서는 rushed 
라고 쓰였지만 그것을 에어리프트로 바꿀 수 있겠죠. Mm-hmm. 두 번째 문장 보시죠. All right. So the next sentence we'll look at is While I was driving, my vision got blurry and I passed out of exhaustion. While I was driving, my vision got blurry and I passed out of exhaustion. 운전을 하고 가는 도중에 my vision got blurry. Right. 네, 시야가 blurry 한 거죠. Right. It got 흐려진 blurry. 거. 네. 흐려졌고 oh. and passed out of exhaustion. Yeah. <웃음> exhaustion 탈진이죠. 탈진으로 pass out 한 거죠. Right. Pass는 원래 이 학생이 하고 싶었던 거죠. She right. wanted to pass. She wanted to pass. But not pass out. But not pass out. Yeah. <laughs> so she so. eventually ended up passing out right. because she tried too hard to pass. Right. She that. studied too yeah. hard to pass. Exactly. And another word for passing out would be, you know, fainted. Ah, 그렇죠. 그래서 mm. 어, 기절했다라는 말인데 faint라는 말도 쓸수 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 그래서 쓰러졌다, 뭐 기절했다라고 할때 faint. Pass out. 둘다 써보시면 좋겠죠. That's right. Oh, one more thing. Pass out. It doesn't have to mean that you fainted. So if I was really tired and I say I went home and I passed right 아, out. 맞습니다. Just I just went to sleep. 네, 네, 네. 그래서 집에 가자마자 바로 잠이 들어버렸다라고 너무 피곤해서 잠들었을 때 pass out 쓸수 있습니다. Right. 정말로 기절하지 않았어도 right. 뭐 기절해서 잠들었다, 기절한 것처럼 잠들었다라는 <웃음> 그런 과장된 yeah. 표현 우리 말로도 쓰잖아요. 영어로는 mm-hmm. 더 이제 많이 쓰는 것 같습니다. Mm-hmm. 자 이번에는요 이렇게 일기까지 보았고 앞에서 봤던 mm-hmm. 이제 알리사 씨 영상을 다시 보면서 공부를 해보는 시간입니다. 알리사 씨 다시 나와주세요. Not being in school has been sort of relaxing, except I started working a job. Um, I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Monday through Friday, and I'm doing filing work, so it's not very fun. <laughs> and those long hours, it just takes a big toll on you to work that much during summer. Especially since this is my only time to relax before school starts again. 네, 평소처럼 키워드 하나 고르고 가겠습니다. 키워드는 right. 뭐죠? Today's key word is through. 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 Through가 어디에서 나왔는지 기억나시나요? 여기서는 바로 Monday through Friday라고 했어요. That's right. Monday through Friday, 네. not Monday to Friday. Monday through Friday. 그런데 Monday yeah. to Friday라고 하면 틀리나요? No, it's not wrong. It's just used differently. Mm. In this case, she's working Monday through Friday. So that means from Monday to Friday, through, in between, 네. she's working. 그런데 그 앞에 나오는 시간을 말할 때는 또 8 a.m., 그러니까 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m.이라고 했어요. Right. And she did not say from 8 a.m. through 5 p.m. What is the reason? Well, the reason is because when you're talking about time, you just say two, from <laughs> one to two o'clock. You're not in the time, you know? Yeah. It's just that time. 네. So if you look at the clock, it goes from here to here, mm-hmm. from point A to point B. 네, 약간 그 이유는 없으니 외워라 <웃음> 느낌이 조금은 있지만 <웃음> 그래도 실제로 이제 용법이 다른 것 뿐이죠. Right. 근데 제가 받는 느낌은 이제 Monday through Friday라고 하면 mm-hmm. 하나씩 차근차근 넘어가는 느낌이 좀 들어요. Mm-hmm. 하나씩 다 거쳐서 그냥 뭐이 중에서 하나 고르는 게 아니라 mm-hmm. one day through 그래서 January through July라고 하면 mm-hmm. 한 달도 거르지 않고 쭉쭉 이렇게 다 뭔가 일이 있었거나 mm-hmm. 뭐 시간을 보내는 거죠. 그래서 어, 특히 요일 이야기 하실 때 Monday to Friday보다 Monday through를 한번 써보시면 right. 더 자연스러운 영어가 됩니다. Right. So as long as you're not working during that time or doing something mm-hmm. through it, then you can say two. 네, 알겠습니다. 아, 그렇군요. 그냥 mm-hmm. 그거를 다 경험해서 하나씩 넘어가는 것이 아니라 그냥 mm. 범위를 말할 때는 two도 괜찮다는 거죠. Mm. 네, 좋습니다. 자, 이번에는 문장 볼 건데요. 첫 번째 문장 읽어주시죠. All right, so the first sentence is Not being in school has been sort of relaxing. Not being in school has been sort of relaxing. 학교에 안 다니니까 여유가 있어서 좀 편안해요 라는 음. 음, 말인데 Of course, we're talking about being in school here. Right. In school이 여기서는 핵심입니다. Mm-hmm. So, in the case of being in school, it means that you're enrolled. You are a student. Mm-hmm. 학생이라는 거죠. 등록된 학생. Mm. 그런데 비슷한 표현으로 at school이 있어요. Right. In this case, at school just literally means you are there. 네. In the building. Mm-hmm. 그래서 학교에서 오늘 뭐, 뭐 했다. At school today, 무슨 무슨 일이 있었다. Right. This and that happened. 이럴 때는 at school이고요. 
나는 I am in school 하면은 나는 지금 학생 신분이다라는 말이 되겠습니다. Right. So if you want to ask someone, you know, if they're a student, you could say, "Are you a student?" or "Are you in school?" Mm-hmm. And, you can ask that way. And I would be able to answer, "I'm not in school anymore." Yeah, I'm not in school anymore. 네, I wish I were, but I'm not. <웃음> 자, 그리고 두 번째 문장입니다. All right. So the second one is, especially since this is my only time to relax before school starts again. Especially since this is my only time to relax before school starts again. Especially, 특히 since. 특히 뭐뭐 하니까 말이죠 라는 뜻이죠. This is my only time to relax. Only. 유일하게 좀 긴장을 풀고 relax 할수 있는 유일한 시간이라는 건데 뭐 영원히 유일한 것은 아니고 mm-hmm. Before school starts again 이라는 mm-hmm. 말이 뒤에 나옵니다. 여기서 말하는 yeah, school이라는 것은 right. 제가 이제 알리사 씨에게 물어봤을 때 궁금해서 물어보니까 mm-hmm. 그래서 스쿨이 또 얼마나 남았느냐 mm-hmm. 그래서 학기가 얼마나 남았느냐 물어봤더니 교환학생이 mm-hmm. 남아있고 한몇 학기 남아있대요. 두 학기 정도. 그렇기 때문에 아직 학교가 끝난 건 아닌데 mm-hmm. 여기서는 school starts again. Right. 네, 영어로는 학교가 다시 시작한다고 말하지만 우리말로는 학기가 시작한다고 하죠. Right. So in Korean you guys use semester more but in English we just say when does school start? Mm-hmm. It could mean the time of day. Mm-hmm. So you know when does school start? 맞아요. Oh, it starts you know at 2 o'clock 네. you know on weekdays. But depending on how you ask it, you know, 음. when does school start? Oh, it starts in August. 네. Yeah. 방금 전에 굉장히 중요한 그런 설명을 해 주셨는데 아침에 이야기할 때는 right. 학교가 아니라 이제 수업이 시작되는 시간인 거죠. Right. 일교시가 언제 시작하느냐? School starts at 8 a.m. 하면 학교가 8시에 시작합니다 보다 수업이 8시에. 그런데 school starts in August 또는 mm-hmm. September 하면 학기가 그 9월이나 또는 8월이나 9월에 Right. So we do it like that. So you just have to pay attention to the context. Like, mm-hmm. are we talking about the morning or are we talking about, you know, in general? So if you understand the context, then you'll be fine. 네. 그래서 이런 것들이 사실 school 하면 쉬운 단어잖아요. It's right. It's very easy. Very easy word. It's a very, very easy. basic level mm-hmm. word. 그럼에도 불구하고 이 사소한 것조차도 mm-hmm. 영어랑 한국어의 그런 표현 차이가 있다는 것 자체가 영어 공부를 더 어렵게 할 수도 있겠지만 Yeah. 더 재밌게 하는 것 같습니다. Mm-hmm. 자 이렇게 해서 이 알리사 씨의 영상을 살펴보았고요. 이번에는 한국어 영어 자막 다 넣어서 다시 한번 감상해 보시겠습니다. Not being in school has been sort of relaxing, except I started working a job. Um, I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Monday through Friday, and I'm doing filing work, so it's not very fun. <laughs> and those long hours. It just takes a big toll on you to work that much during summer, especially since this is my only time to relax before school starts again. Alisa 씨가 학교 이야기를 하고 또 학기가 시작되는 거 그다음에 아르바이트 하는 거 그런 이야기를 하는 거를 들으니까 굉장히 학창 시절이 그리운데요. Listening to Alisa's story about how school is about to start, or she's taking a break mm-hmm. and she's doing many part-time jobs, makes me miss being a student. I don't. When I was a student, <laughs> I had two part-time jobs, so I would get up at 5 a.m., mm. go to class, go to work, go to class, and then work again all evening. It really took a toll on me. 그렇군요. I felt like I was going to pass out every 굉장히. day. 힘들었을 것 같아요. 그런데 mm-hmm. 저도 비슷한 생활을 했던 것 같아요. 그래서 mm-hmm. 뭐 아르바이트 세 가지 하고 계속 뭐 Three. 일하고 Yes, I was working me. <웃음> all the time. 그런데 사실 만약에 다시 학교로 돌아갈 수 있다면 mm-hmm. I wish I could just study, study, study. Yeah, I like learning. So mm. I want to go. I, and I hope you, or I believe you love learning too. That's why right. you're watching this show. Right. And you can continue learning English, many useful expressions and how to improve your English through the upcoming episodes of the show. Yes, you can. We'll teach you more useful expressions next time. We hope that you have a fantastically wonderful, marvelous day. 네, 저희는 다음 시간에 더 유익한 내용으로 또 인사드리겠습니다. 여러분, 안녕히 계세요. Goodbye. Bye-bye.